Hello and welcome to the first of what I hope to be a medium length series of WordPress tutorial videos and this first one is going to be showing you how to set up a WordPress system and get that basically working on some basic web hosting. I'm going to be talking you through one, what is WordPress, what are its benefits of use, uh, what uh, web hosting you're going to need, the crucial areas of that such as a MySQL database and also uh, the FTP program you're going to need to upload those upload and download files to your web hosting uh, server and I'll show you obviously the WordPress setup and installation process and then just show you basically a bit about the back end but I'll probably leave the majority of that uh, WordPress back end and admin area to the next video okay so as you can see we're on my home page here now my website is designed um, to show a portfolio of my recent work it's also designed to give you a basic idea of who I am some of my base interests what got me into web design things like that I've got a contact page and I've also got a blog link now my blog is using WordPress many of you may know WordPress as the wordpress.com blogging solution now if you go to wordpress.com you can sign up for a free blog it's ten o'clock thank you Mac <laughs> uh, wordpress.com will allow you to sign up and your username so if I sign up as Harry Finn my username being Harry Finn or one word they will give me the domain of harryfinn.wordpress.com uh, going to that will allow me to set up a blog and they give me some limited customization of that. Now I can pay for more uh, options and plugins and themes and CSS editing but really it's easier for me to host my own uh, WordPress solution and I use it for my blog. However a lot of the work that I do uh, web based with clients is best done with a some form of content management system a CMS and what that allows you and the client to do is to log into an area, to a dashboard area if you like, and to be able to see the updates, the posts, the pages for example, and to be able to create new content and to be able to manage that and manipulate that to how they'd like it, or to how I'd like it as the developer. That is a fantastic program or system to use mainly because otherwise you would be you would be constantly updating the site now it is less obviously work for the developer however the way you can continue to get work from that and obviously progress your services is to start developing within that system uh, with plugins and theme designs and new um, template solutions uh, with for example some jQuery or Ajax building that in for a better template and theme now why do we why do I use WordPress I use it for my blog so I'll click on that link so you can see WordPress is very very flexible okay you can do some amazing things with it and at the start of my next video I will show you a short introduction to some of the sites that I've worked on um, using WordPress which are built off of just WordPress and obviously uh, some some fantastic sites that I haven't designed um, or built that are really showing off WordPress to its full potential but like I was saying earlier WordPress allows you to do something in five minutes that to develop would take weeks possibly months to build a, syst a, a custom system up to that standard if it was just one person so it's a really useful tool, and it's not, you know, a, a almost uh, it's not cheating uh, as a developer to use it. It's definitely not considering that it's free as well. It allows you to develop within the web in a in a new way, and it's a very good resource to use. So I highly recommend getting into it now. And the reason I'm doing this tutorial is because I've had a few requests to do uh, a WordPress, a short WordPress series although this one may may end up 
being a bit longer if I start going into some plugins and theme designs and things like that. But we'll see how we go and what feedback we get. But the basic idea behind this was to show you in this video today how to set up WordPress and what you're going to need for that. Now, my blog is all set up and it's been custom themed by me to look somewhat similar to my main site. As you can see, that should look fairly similar to you. In background, some of the transparent black content boxes. But WordPress is basically comprised of, uh, in the front end anyway, of a header section, some navigation, a post area, and a sidebar with admin, category, archive, blog roll, tags, and I've put in a Twitter feed link as well. So what are you going to need to be able to set something up like this? And before I continue, WordPress is by no means a blogging tool or just the blogging tool. Yes, I use mine for my blog. However, sites that I'll be showing you in the next few videos use them to manage the whole site, which is why WordPress really is a content management system, a CMS, and it can do some fantastic things. So try and keep that in mind if you're a bit pessimistic about using WordPress, uh, because I do know a lot of a lot of people use it just for blogs. and there's no reason you shouldn't because it's very good for that is what it was initially designed to work with and work best for but today it can do so much more anyway what you're gonna need you're gonna need some hosting now I've brought up one here it's 123-reg.co.uk and if you click on the web hosting tab up the top you'll get three packages now actually they are very very reasonably priced um, another one you could look at is daily.co.uk which I've used and worked with in the past but um, for the purpose of this video if you want a cheap solution to be able to set yourself up with um, this is one of the better ones to use uh, because of what it's offering and the price so you get one free domain at 249 per month you get one gig of web space now bear in mind if you are going to be uploading images to your site uh, or videos directly rather than linking them from YouTube that will probably go quite quickly so you may want to look across to the 499 package which is 25 gig uh, a fair old amount or you could look across for two pounds more to the unlimited data usage and um, bandwidth limit as well although that comes across on all packages now be careful because it's not quite unlimited but you know, unless you're going to be uploading some sh very big files each e each and every day, um, I wouldn't worry about that. So you're going to get five. Uh, you're, sorry, you're going to get 100 mailboxes with that. So email accounts. You're also going to get one database. Now the database is the crucial element. You need a MySQL database to run WordPress with. Uh, a database is an online storage, uh, can, and with WordPress, it stores the post the content, um, the date it was posted on, who it was posted by, pretty much everything that the system can handle is stored in that database and PHP is used to dynamically access that information and display it on the web page as and when requested by you the user. So it's a pretty, pretty important and key element, in fact you can't run WordPress without a database to support it so you must check that your host does support a data, at least one database so that's it for web hosting you can go through the process of obviously buying some hosting and they will give you all the information you need to get that going now it will come nearly every single web hosting will come with FTP access uh, and if not you can request it quite easily but pretty much every single one will do for FTP you I suggest a free program called FileZilla compatible on Mac and Windows and Linux I think as well uh, download that and you'll be able to fill in the boxes which I'll show you in a minute with the details your web host has been providing but first you need to download WordPress itself so you need to go to wordpress.org not .com .com will not give you these files um, because it's hosted by because WordPress is hosting it themselves th through them for you rather than you hosting it yourself for you. So you want to download the latest version which at the time of this video um, Tuesday 28th of June is WordPress 3.1.3 
uh, another a very good stable release so no worries there um, click that to download and once you have the folder will contain a load of files and folders which is the one I've got on my screen here opening up FileZilla you're going to want to copy and this is the whole folder here this is my local side, this is my web server side, you're going to want to copy all of that across and I've already done that because I didn't want you to have to sit and watch this video while my files updated couldn't think of anything worse so that's already done for you but depending on your broadband upload speed it could take between 5 minutes and 20 minutes, 5, yeah, five minutes, 20 minutes give or take but you're going to want to leave it by doing that and your internet connection, your internet speed will probably be a lot slower while you're doing that so if you're trying to web browse or watch a YouTube video at the same time it's probably going to take a little bit longer as well so bear that in mind you may want to set aside for an evening or early in the morning to upload these files if your broadband connection or internet connection is uh, fairly slow anyway once you've got those uploaded and I've uploaded them to a folder in my YouTube directory on my website called WordPress if you click on that you'll be presented with this first page now this from now on um, just as a reference point this is the WordPress setup so previous to this it's me dis it was me discussing the the uses of WordPress what you can do with it briefly and some web hosting solution um, so from now on we're going to go into the installation and setup of it the first thing you need to do is just click that button on the screen and you'll be presented with this page the next page you're going to see is uh, going to ask you for the database name, username, password, database host, and a table prefix um, in case you're running more than one version of WordPress or want to alter the table names. Um, I, in fact, I am because I'm only using one database on this site, so I will edit that and I'll tell you that and show you that in a second. Um, and this message down the bottom, this is very key because I guarantee some of you, if you set up your WordPress site, will have this error. Uh, this error can occur if you don't have the correct FTP settings set up. Um, but your web host should provide you with at least the right amount to get WordPress going fairly easily. So don't worry too much if you do get an error message on this. But basically, should you get an error message with the next page, you're going to need to find the file called wp-config-sample.php in your WordPress folder that you just downloaded. Open up in your editor of choice, whether it be Dreamweaver, Notepad++, Text Wrangler, um, Textpad, whatever, and you're going to need to manually enter the information that it's going to ask for on this next page and then save it as wp-config.php so you're removing the hyphen sample. Anyway, if you don't have to do that, you're going to click the let's go and you're going to have to enter some information here. So some of this you won't be able to see because it's uh, obviously a slightly sensitive data. Now, the local host, most of you will be able to leave it as that um, for your web hosting because they won't change it. However, I'm on a custom database setup so I have to use db1 database1 and this is the table prefix I was telling you about so I'm gonna because I'm running multiple versions I don't want it to overwrite my blog so I'm gonna change it to YouTube underscore YouTube underscore and I'm gonna submit that uh, password wrong I'll just alter that I have so many passwords I can never remember the right one to use that should be the right one. There we go. Right, so this is what you should be presented with if all that information clears. And you're just going to hit the run the install. Okay, installation was uh, pretty much a success. And you're going to be asked for some basic information. So the site title, my blog, the username, admin, Harry, whatever your, your, your name is, a username. You know, whatever you're going to use for your username to log in. No one's going to necessarily see that um, if you don't want them to. And I don't suggest you give out your username and password, obviously, to your WordPress blog. 
uh, unless it's to someone you trust to add content or unless you want to add a new user and give them their own account. But we'll go into that later with the dashboard setup. Enter a password. Twice for verification. Enter an email address so they can email you all kinds of things from when a new user registers, when a comments are posted, um, when someone replies to a comment, and also for successful installation of a WordPress blog. They'll send you an email with your details for that as well. And hit login at the end. It's going to ask you to check those details over at the end and to also enter the WordPress backend. Type in your username and password. All going well, you should be presented with the WordPress dashboard. Now, I'm not going to talk any more about this because I'm covering it in the second video of this series. Um, but very basically, you have some basic stats, a quick press uh, post, posting a form on your right, the recent comments, links, plugins, drafts, uh, news from WordPress.org itself and other WordPress news sites. If you click on the My Blog up the top left, you'll be taken to the actual WordPress solution setup itself. So this is what you as a user will see if you now go to harryfin.co.uk forward slash YouTube forward slash WordPress and this is WordPress. All set up and nicely installed. If you have a problem while setting up, again feel free to email me. Just make sure when you do email me, if you could in the subject, uh, reference it as WordPress uh, setup um, error or issue and then when I come down to it in my emails I'm going to know what's going on a lot better and I suggest you do email me rather than uh, send me a personal message on YouTube if you have an issue with WordPress because it may be more of a lengthy conversation and I may need you to send me a file um, or a web address um, or a username for example so I prefer to do that over email if that's alright with you guys Anyway, I hope this has been helpful to you, just to show you the basic setup of how to get WordPress going. It is a very easy install. There's not a lot you can do wrong. Uh, if you are getting errors, 9 times out of 10 the config file is the culprit, or perhaps your FTP has closed the connection before all the files are transferred, especially if you're on a slower connection. So do check that first of all. Anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please comment, rate and subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know if you're if you think you're going to be in if you think there's anything I really need to cover during this WordPress series. If you're having an issue with a WordPress setup yourself or if there's anything in particular regarding WordPress that you'd like me to take a look at, I am more than happy to do so. Thank you for watching guys and take care.